Alex, this is Ron Milky. We're oh, back. I, I apologize for the, our, our screw up on the uh, on the switchboard here. Yeah, no problem. Welcome, welcome back. We appreciate calling back in. Yeah, no problem. Alex was just telling us um, about his first time that he met. He had a lot of very nice things to say about you, and uh, and we appreciate you calling. And I, I'm looking here. I you, I see that you have a uh, a new movie coming out called uh, Torture Chamber. Yes. Yes, I'd, I'd like to talk about that. It's um, It stars Vincent Pastore from The Sopranos. He played Big Pussy on The Sopranos. And um, Carmine Lepore from One Life to Live and and, and myself. And it's, uh, it's Dante Tomaselli production. Dante uh, has done three movies thus far. He's a young auteur film director. He did Desecration, Horror, and... Uh, his last movie, which I was also in, Satan's Playground. And this one's called Torture Chamber, and it's a real dark um, thriller, you know, really scary. And we wrapped cool. on that last month. Mm -hmm. When's that going to be released? Halloween, this Halloween. Oh, cool. Oh, what were The Two Sisters about? Uh, the Two Sisters was just a small film that we did. Uh, I did out in California, and uh, Terry Dawn Arnold is the producer and director, and she got a special deal uh, to fly me out there, and uh, it was a SAG film. And it was um, a, a, an original screenplay about uh, two sisters who were uh, murderesses and, uh, you know, that, that type of thing. It was uh, a very nice, very nice little film. Cool, and... and have you, have you been like uh, into the horror genre ever since like Friday Thirteenth? Like I have, I, ha I have been. Yeah, I, I've been more or less doing that, and you know, uh, it's okay. It's not my not not why I came to New York to be an actor, but I'm I'm happy with it, and uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm proud of it, and I like my I like the horror the horror film fans, and I've sort of gotten into it. Yeah. I did cool. uh, ret return to Salem's Lot. That was uh, in I think '87. That was directed 87. by Larry, yeah, Larry Cohen, who mm -hmm. did It's Alive and Q and um, so many, so many horror films. And cool. then uh, a couple others here. I've done also films that have not been horror, like um, um, uh, what was it? Meridian. Is that one? Meridian, Meridian. Uh, that that's got a big release in Germany and uh, Grand Isle with. Uh, Kelly McGillis, uh, Ellen Burstyn, and uh, Julian Sands. I had a big cast. And, right. and I, I, I do stage, and I do uh, off-Broadway and television, and I teach acting. So whatever I can do to keep it together, you know. Yeah, you're very active in the whole acting thing still. Uh, yeah. Tell yeah. me where this is emanating from. What city? Uh, Philadelphia, PA. Oh, no kidding. Uh -huh. yeah. Now... Have you you've been going to conventions for a pretty long time, right? No, I I just started going to conventions about four years ago, and I, and I didn't even know about the conventions. But uh, Ellen Sandweiss, I was doing a film with Ellen Sandweiss from The Evil Dead, uh -huh. and uh, she said, uh, Ron, how come I never see you at the conventions? And I said, I said I didn't know anything about them, and so she introduced me to them. And the first one I did was I think uh, Chiller, is that right? Chiller, Kevin. Clements uh, Convention in New right. Jersey, and that uh, was I think 2005, and okay. uh, and so I've been I've been doing them ever since. I think I met you at I think I met you at that one. Oh, I'm sure but, I'm sure but, we did. Yeah. Yeah, but believe it or not, I met you once, and uh -huh. then uh, we just talked for a second or two, and then uh, that was pretty much it. Just like I guess every other person in there, you know, the hundreds of people or thousands, I guess, by the weekend is over, and then. Um, then we actually started talking when uh, Eric started your actual website, and then I was going to do your message board. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. 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 And then we met again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, of course, uh, you know, he's done a beautiful poster. Have you seen it? The 30-year 30, 30 anniversary Friday the 13th poster? No. What, so is that on com? You can get that on uh, Eric's website, which is not, not on mine. But it's um, it's personally signed by Ari Ari Lehman and right. me and um, and Alice. Oh my God, what's Alice? Um, can you help me out. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Yeah. <laughs> Adrian <laughs> King. <laughs> I'm glad you forgot her name too. Adrian yeah, King, of yeah, course. Oh my God, Adrian, please forgive me if you're listening to this. Yeah, Adrian <laughs> King. 
So he's selling those, and it's one of the most beautiful Friday the 13th posters I've ever seen. It, of course, anything Eric does is done with style, as you know. You know, and right. um, you can uh, you can check that out. Do you know his website by any chance? You know what? I'm I'm looking for it right now. I I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is anymore. Hey, wasn't it like um, CampCrystalLake.com? Or yes, like that? I think I think that's it. CampCrystalLake.com. Yeah. yeah. And and this poster, what people can order this? You can order it, right? And you get a, you get a poster. It's a it's a whole package. You get a T-shirt, a poster, and something else. But I've got it. I got it up on my kitchen while I'm looking at it right now. It's beautifully designed, and it says the 30 years of fright. Friday the 13th, and it has uh, uh, some interesting graphics, all done in three colors, black, mostly black and red, and then the title in white with the 13th. Yeah. But it's a beautifully, uh, beautiful poster, and a lot of people do not have it. It's an original. So right. the Friday the 13th fans may want to contact uh, Eric. At um, it's, He's also available at Eric. Dot, is it E-R-I-K, Eric at... Um, try Friday the Thirteenth films. I don't know. You know. Okay. But, uh, I can't and, think and does it come with that black and white shirt of yours, where you say um, "Sit on a Tonto or is it something like that? Oh, what? Uh, which, do I say? Yes. I uh, gee, I ran out of those a long time ago. I have to have more of those made up. No, no. This is this is a, just a Friday the Thirteenth um, poster. And, oh, and the, the shirt. I mean. Yeah. Oh, okay. The yeah, the shirt is a just Friday the Thirteenth shirt. Yeah, but. Uh, I, I I'll tell you I had some of those done and I gave more away than I sold and I just uh, I ran out and I just never had any more made up but uh, you remembered it right Yeah yeah I have it yeah 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 Um can I know like a lot of people probably ask this but just for to celebrate Friday 13th with us in the audience can you give us a few lines What you been smoking boy <laughs> Let me see. Uh what you just get off a rocket ship or something Grass, weed. Columbia Gold, 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 grass, weed. <laughs> you, you know, know what I really like? It, there's a line you do that's not even famous, but I really like it because it's so, like, sarcastic. Uh, hmm. They're they're like, you're like, what, what, you know, what are you guys doing out here? And they're like, we're just uh, getting everything ready. You're like, ready for oh, what? No, uh, who, oh, oh, really? I remember, who are you people? What was the one you liked? Uh, they're like, oh, we're, we're just getting the camp ready. And you're like, ready for what? And they're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Is there anything we can help you with, officer? <laughs> I love it the way you guys know that all that dialogue. I don't even remember most of it. Yeah, yeah. it was fun, you know. And uh, uh, Sean and another guy wrote that scene in because uh, it was not in the original script. Okay. And did they then, do that because they knew you and they were like hooking you up with a part? Or no, they... no. As a matter of fact, Sean was going to play the part. Sean Cunningham was going to play the part, and he would have been funny. He would have been funny. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then Victor Miller said, I don't like this scene, and they had a little fight over it. And uh, uh, then, then then I happened to call Sean uh, one day, and I was I saw an ad in Variety. It says Friday the 13th, that famous ad with the crashing glass, you know, that very first ad. And I said, Sean Cunningham, let me give him a call. So I called him. I said, Sean, this is Ron Milkey. I had done a film with him previous to this. And I says, I saw you're filming a new movie called Friday the 13th. And I said, is there anything in it for me? Oh, he says, Ron, we're, I'm sorry, we're already in production. He says, wait a minute, Ron. You know, come to think of it, you'd be right for this part I was going to do. But why don't you come on up to um, to New Jersey, and uh, uh, we'll audition you. you. You'd be perfect for this part. So I went up there, took the bus up there, and um, read. And he says, okay, you're going you're gonna to do the part. Cool. Yeah, rest is Friday 13th history. Yeah, yeah, and none of us knew, of course, it was going to become the hit it did. But uh, that summer, 1980, it was the top. It was shared uh, with the the airplane. Airplane and Friday the 13th were the top grossing movies of the year. Right. Mm -hmm. And have you? Um, I know a lot of times we ask people it, and the answer is always no for some reason, but. Have you seen any other Friday the 13th after oh, yes. the one you were? Yeah, I have, sure. Yeah, I um, I did a convention out in L.A. a couple of years ago, and 
<laughs> I went to the home of one of the fans, and I had to sit through about five of them in a row. <laughs> so I said, oh my good. God. I said, good. This, I'll get a chance to see them all. And I loved Friday the 13th, too. I thought that was great. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Really? Yeah, I can see why. Yeah, really cool. I, you know, it probably because it's, you know, the first one introduces Jason. That's right. And uh, it, it's just so cla- It's basically part one, but um, with Jason instead of, um, you know, the mother. Yeah, yeah, and that was directed by Steve Miner, who. Uh, right. And now we're talking about. Uh, you were talking with Miguel, I believe, about uh, something about uh, another other Friday the Thirteenth. But uh, do you happen to know what Steve Miner is doing these days? Uh, no, he's Vince, Mike, you know? I think he's still directing. Yeah. Yes, well, he is. He is. He did two years ago. I got an email from him saying, Ron, this is Steve Miner. How have you been? Blah, 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 blah. Look, at it. we've got a part for you um, in Day of the Dead, remake of George Romero's Day of the Dead. And uh, we'd like you to come out to... <laughs> like it was uh, Philadelphia or, or New Jersey, to uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> oh, wow. I says, wait a minute. What's what's the part? He says, it's Mr. Noble. You're going to be playing uh, uh, Marissa. I can't think of her name, but she was in American Beauty, the, the pretty blonde. Uh, Mina, Sur- uh, Mina Cervera. There That's you it. go. Yeah, there you go, Mina Cervera. You're going to be playing her father. And um, so I said, I'd like to, and one thing led to another, and then he called me, he uh, emailed me back, he says, Ron, I'm sorry, but, you know, they they did find an actor here in London, they don't want to pay your plane fare over there, so I lost, but he says, the next thing I do, you're going to be in it, next thing I do in America, you're going to be in it. I, ha- I haven't heard from him, but, um, so I saw the movie, I rented the movie, and it was pretty good, and then I said, well, where in the hell is Mr., uh, you know, Mr. Noble, and it your was part. like, it was like a bit part that you could have taken a body from the street and saying, you know, you're going to be <laughs> Mr. Noble. I says he was going to fly me over to to, to Bulgaria for this role. You know, it it's funny. Just... You, he tells you he was going to be in Bulgaria. Your first question was, well, what's the part? My first question was, well, how much are you paying me? <laughs> well, it would have been SAG uh, minimum, I, I imagine, which is, uh, you know, probably 500 a day over there, and I would have been there a couple of days. But uh, and they paid. They pay for your flight though that's cool no that that's the thing they would have they would have uh, they wanted me to pay the producer wanted me to pay for my own flight which actors are doing these days believe oh, me really? that. a lot of working actors are paying their own airfare that's how bad things have gotten wow yeah wow. and i might you know what i might have uh, i might have gotten a few more days out of it but uh at the time, I thought, you know, gee, this is not going to be worth it. And then because I questioned uh, the expenses and everything, they were able to find an actor in London, and they flew him down to do it. But it was a part that you could have done, you know. Right, yeah. A, yeah. a, a guy, I don't know if you're an actor or not, but, I mean, the guy is there. He starts uh, he starts getting the, the disease, and he starts you know, eating his wife alive, you know, and he turns into a monster and, and runs around, and he's out the – He's out of the picture, so I didn't. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think we all could have done that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I could, or maybe it was more, and they cut the rest. You know, but I don't. I don't know. I figured, gee, he says we we need a good actor. We can't find anybody for the role. I'm thinking this must be a good part. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it was a good movie, you said. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. see it? No, no. I actually, I, I'm surprised I didn't. A remake of Day of the Dead. I'm surprised Day I didn't. Yeah, and there's on the DVD. There's an interview with Steve Miner before the, before they show the film, which is uh, you should get. And it's uh, interesting. Cool. Uh, they they change the storyline very much like they changed the storyline of the remake of Friday the Thirteenth. Right. Yeah. Last summer. Hey Ron. Mm-hmm. Hey Ron. This is Vince, the other host of the show. Um, I have a question. Do you have any advice out there for for younger guys and younger women who want to be actors and they they move to New York? to do this, uh, what would be your piece of advice for them of trying to make it? Aspiring actors? Yes. Yeah, I, I think the best advice I could give is to get on the stage and start doing some theater wherever you are. That you can do. You can't always make a movie. Although today, everybody's got their own their own uh, independent film, right? But, yeah, yeah. Uh, do that. Do that, too. But especially get on the stage because that's how a real actor, that's where the real actors are made. And um, and there's a lot of scouts watching you guys. 
Uh, not always, but that's the thing that so many young people today. I teach acting in New York, and everybody wants to make it real quick, and it, it just it just doesn't. I mean, that could happen, you know, it could happen. But uh, for the most part, like anything else, you got to pay your dues, and and you got to, you know, uh, God, you could be so talented, and it's still going to take a while to get uh, to get noticed and to get a name for yourself. And, and there's so much of his luck too. But I think right. if people really – it depends on if you just want to be a star or do you really like being an actor. Because if you right. really like being an actor, like Al Pacino, who was a buddy of mine years ago, we started out together, and we used to hang out together. And um, that Al loved acting. I mean, mm-hmm. we used to work with the Swift Messenger Service for a dollar. I said – last time I saw him, I, I said, Al, remember when we worked with the Swift Messenger Service for $1.65 an hour? He said, Ron, it was a dollar thirty-five an hour. And uh, wow. But we would talk about actors. We loved acting, and Al, I'm going to do this part and that part. And, and, and our, you know, our idols in those days were Brando and Albert Finney, and you know, great. Yeah. We talked. We talked about doing plays by Tennessee Williams and Arthur Miller, and and uh, it's different today. Today they want to be an action hero right away. You know. Yep, everyone wants to be Arnold. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for calling in, Ron. We really appreciate okay, it. Okay, I, I enjoyed it, and uh, uh, happy Friday the 13th to uh, all you guys listening in, and uh, yeah, man. and thanks for thinking of me. Yeah, hey, no problem. Thank you so much Thank for coming you for doing through. this. Never keep the chief waiting. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Bye. Bye-bye. It was great. See you later.